In this video, we'll take you to Jonathan Dickinson State Park in Florida. We'll camp, hike, and climb the so-called mountain that is the highest spot in South Florida. We'll learn about the wild man of the Loxahatchee River, a hermit who was like a real-life Tarzan. And we'll experience the beauty of this state park that not that many people know about. Come on along. Well, good morning from Jonathan Dickinson State Park near Jupiter, Florida, uh, also near the town of Hobie Sound. And uh, this is our morning office. Uh, and that's the beauty of uh, having a mobile uh, vagabond lifestyle. Uh, we do our email, we do our morning work here, and uh, it's not a bad office. Not bad at all. Yeah. Uh, this park is uh, one that we have never stayed at before. There's two loops. There's a river loop and there is a, 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 I don't know what they call this loop out here, but there's not a lot of shade. Um, you know, after you get into April, May, this would be pretty hot, don't you think? It'd be very warm. Yeah, but uh, it's, a, it's a great spot. I mean, we, um, we have found so many spots in Florida that frankly we didn't know existed. Now this park doesn't get a lot of attention, but it should. It should, it's a beautiful, beautiful place to camp. Well, for, Lots of trails, opportunities to ride bikes, yeah. mountain bikes, regular bikes. And um, for one place, uh, one thing this has that uh, I haven't found any place else in Florida is we can go mountain climbing here. <laughs> it has the highest spot in Florida. Should we take them with us? Let's do that. Come on along. So there are lots of trails and uh, places to hike, but uh, Jonathan Dickinson really has some uh, some great off-road bike, mountain bike trails. It's uh, pretty neat, huh? This is a beautiful place. Lots yeah. of opportunities to do different things. Yeah. If you're fit and active, and you want something to do, a good place to come. Yeah, um, there are a, a paved bike trail that you can take for those of you who want to go easy, and a pretty cool mountain bike trail that uh, brings people from all across Florida to uh, to try out here. Lots of critters live out there. We we have Bo with us, and uh, with Bo with us, it's a constant battle because he hears them slithering around out there, and he wants <laughs> to run out and see what's out there. We just don't think that's a good idea. Well, I think this mountain bike uh, trail is rather interesting because it's called Gator Hole. It's a little <laughs> incentive to get you going, huh? I guess so. We are ready to do some serious mountain climbing here in Florida on uh, Mount Hobie. We are going to climb the highest spot in southern Florida. That's right, uh, highest point south of Lake Okeechobee in, on the Florida Peninsula. And uh, Mount Hobie here towers a whopping 86 feet above sea level. Are you up for this? I'm up for it. All right, Bo, how about you? Are you ready? Bo, you ready to go? Let's go. Now there is a nice little uh, boardwalk that uh, goes all the way up. You might wonder what Mount Hobie is. It's a sand dune, right? It's just a big old sand dune and it takes you, we have this wooden walkway that we're taking to an observation tower so that we can see around just a little bit better. So 
So right there is the intercoastal waterway and on the other side of it is the Atlantic Ocean. And here is the park. There's our RV down there. The River Campground at Jonathan Dickinson is uh, right along the Loxahatchee River and this is a beautiful river. It's actually designated as a wild stream. It is a Florida aquatic preserve and you can fish, you can kayak, you can canoe. One place you have to visit at Jonathan Dickinson State Park is Trapper Nelson's Cabin. Vince Nelson, also known as the Tarzan of the Lakahachi River, was a hermit who lived deep in the wilds here from the 1930s to the 1960s. He was also a very colorful character who turned his homestead along the river into a makeshift zoo. He died of a gunshot wound in the cabin in 1968. It was ruled suicide, but some claim it was murder. And a local legend says his spirit still haunts his camp. At any rate, he was such a colorful character that his cabin and the outbuildings are part of an official tour here at the park. One we heartily recommend you take. There is so much to see at Jonathan Dickinson State Park. It's the kind of place where you just want to take your time and take in the beauty. If you like Jonathan Dickinson State Park, we have a series of adventure guides, three of them on Florida, and I think you'd like them. We have like eight of these guides that are available. We're doing them on all sorts of uh, different places across the country. Uh, we'll put a link up here. You just can go to there and you can learn all about our seven day adventure guides. They're like curated guides and maps, where to go, what to see, where you can camp. And Jonathan Dickinson State Park is in uh, one of our three guides that are about Florida. Hey, we hope you enjoyed this video. Would you do us a favor? Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the RV Lifestyle channel here on YouTube. And when you do, click that little bell icon so you'll be notified when we have new videos. Thanks so much for watching. Happy trails.